we all know that there are things that every van should have and every van needs in terms of safety or just generally living in the van but what are some of the things that make life a little bit easier a little bit more fun today i'm going to be sharing five of our favorite gadgets things that you don't really need but really do add to our life on the road Hey, I'm Kat and welcome to Wandering Bird where we share tips and tricks to help motorhomers and camper vanners make the most of their time on the road. This is Mac, if you haven't met him before, he's a Cocker Spaniel and I've just taken his frisbee off him. So he's feeling a little bit hard done by and a little bit warm. So if you can hear excessive panting, I promise it's not me. So let us talk about things in the motorhome that aren't essential, but things that just make life a little bit easier and more fun whilst you're on the road. So in no particular order, here are our top five. Top of my list, and an object that we use all the time, especially with this one, is our Dyson Hoover. Now, we have tried many, many, many 12 volt Hoovers and I hate to say it, but we haven't found anything that works as good as this Dyson Hoover. The reason this one is really useful is you can charge it off 12 volts. Of course, if you're gonna be using campsites a lot, doesn't matter. This one that we've got is a pet and boat one. It's just really, really good for getting his hairs up all over the van. Just keeping everything nice and clean because we like to have the carpets down because we do motoring in winter and stuff and carpets make things a little bit warmer and it just makes it easier to charge it if we have a 12 volt option but they're not that easy to find anymore amazon have them intermittently ebay have them intermittently if you're going to find one grab it because we've had this three years now and it's been fantastic um we've used loads and loads of different types both on the boat and in our first couple of vans and yeah nothing beats this one sadly because it is really expensive but worth every penny if you're going to keep your vans for a long time second thing that we're using more and more especially as we're coming into winter is our karcher vacuum right so we took all our blinds off yep it's it seriously doug and we've got the karcher and it's just like a vacuum it's magic and i get in trouble because i don't do it in a neat orderly line yeah but i'm living my best life and you can use it in your house anywhere that you've got proper glass windows but certainly for the windows at the front oh my goodness it's brilliant and it's worth every penny although we did get it i think it was half price i think we got it about 45 pounds on amazon but yeah definitely definitely worth it the next thing that i love that i was really hesitant about but my husband was like, no, this will be amazing. And I thought it would be an absolute disaster is our magnetic knife strip. Now storing sharp knives in your van can be an issue. We had a knife roll for a while, which was fine. But then we got one of these and we thought we'd try it for a while. Our test was up and down the Alps. I mean, if it's going to stay anywhere, going up and down a mountain, it's a pretty good test bed. And I honestly thought at some point we break really hard and there'll be knives flying forward and we basically die a horrible death. Not once as that happened. I think one time the tongs that we put on there have fallen off and they rattled around a bit until we got to our next destination but we've never had an issue where they've been flying forwards as we break and it has been such a really good use of that space because what else are you going to put there and again i can leave the link in the notes for the ones that we got i think it was about 10 pounds maybe 15 pounds off amazon it wasn't particularly expensive and we drilled it properly into the wall use small screws because obviously you're going to an external wall in your van oh and if you're looking at fitting a backsplash top tip we put these on, these were just tiles that we got off Amazon, but we didn't get quite enough. So um, yeah, you can see there's a little hole there that really does need finishing off. We need to get another pack of tiles and finish it off. Along the same lines, and this full disclosure is a product that was gifted to us in exchange for a review. But I just want to point out that it was gifted to us over two years ago. Even if we were the type of people to review a product, say it was amazing, we're not then going to keep it lying around the van if we didn't think it was really amazing and this is really amazing anyone who's met us in person with our van will have been shown this at some point because we are just gobsmacked by these and this is a it's written silwe but i'm pretty sure it's pronounced silve because it's a german company and these magnetic glasses they hold onto a strip exactly like the knife rack but they're way way stronger and these have stayed in this position going up and down everywhere like i think we've had these how long have we had this van now a year and a half 
I think we've had these in place for about a year and a half and we have not had an issue. When we first fitted it, we didn't drill the magnetic strip into the wall. It was done on with the pads and that came off. And we've said that in our review, which I will link to somewhere. So since then we've drilled in, which is why we drilled in the magnetic knife strip as well. Um, and we've also had one of the glasses, the actual magnet on the bottom came loose when we were in summer sun. It might have been Croatia when we had to restick that in. But honestly, it's fabulous. Highly recommend them. And the last thing, what was the last thing on our list that we said? We had several contenders. One was our road trip logbook. Now we, because we've been boating for so long, we're really used to filling out a log before we went anywhere, like where we've been and what the weather was like and places we've seen and stuff. And we couldn't find anything similar for motorhoming. So we've actually created this thing. If I flick it back to the front page, you can see how much of it we've used already. Um, and we've got one of these and we created it with all the different checklists and things in it and it's got loads of bits at the back as well it's got loads of log books and like places to record your favorite moments and stuff and at the back there's checklists for like your deep cleaning and your maintenance and things to do for your winter shutdown and all that kind of stuff so we printed that all out and we sell that on our website i'll leave the link below if you're interested but this has been really really useful however this is more of a memory maker so we can flick back and remember a places we've been but people we've met and things that we've done it's what we love so much about the boating logbooks it's like a little diary almost of our adventures and this is exactly the same for the van so it doesn't really make our life easier my vote for the fifth place was our gas kettle if you followed me for a while you'll know that i'm absolutely in love with possibly the most expensive kettle i've ever bought ever in my life if you don't already have a gas kettle i highly recommend it obviously if you've got a gas hob Another thing I love are these now, she says, trying to prop the door open. I have got them here, a foldable flying pan and a collapsible pan, and they go just underneath there. And they look like this. And there's no way I can do this with one hand. Hold on, hold on. Oh, maybe I can, maybe I can. Yeah, there we go. That's what it pops up into. And they are fantastic for space saving. This is not particularly non-stick, so it does take a little bit of cleaning. You need to use a decent amount of grease or oil or whatever you use in there. Um, but they are just brilliant. And then you pop them down again. And they're like that. And the fifth thing that we said was our Lifesaver Jerry Can. Now, again, this was another product that was gifted to us, but we use it every single day we became a little bit concerned about fresh water when we inadvertently filled up in scotland in the isle of sky at a campsite that didn't know that their water source was contaminated apparently they got a dead sheep went into it or something so after we'd filled up after we'd arrived they came around and were like actually that water is really bad you shouldn't drink it this is not good um, and it made us really really nervous about just blindly trusting that campsite water sources were fine and we wanted to put some sort of filter in the problem with inline filters is that it's very difficult to get the same type, especially when you're traveling as much as we do around Europe and places. And then a company called Lifesaver contacted us. They said they've got a jerry can and would we be interested in it. At first I was like, yeah, don't really see the point of having a jerry can. We've got a motorhome, big tank, whatever. But, but there was a post in the Facebook group the other day about how do you refill a tank when you can't be bothered take your awning down put all your outdoor furniture away and drive your vehicle to the water source if it's too far away for your host to reach and one thing we've done with this jerry can on several occasions is use it to refill our main water tank the other thing that we do is we always use that as our main drinking source so if we want to refill our kettle we do it out of the jerry can pretty much religiously the third reason that we in particular love this thing is it is a dog shower. It could actually be a shower shower for other people who don't have showers in their vans, but it is the most amazing dog shower. And just this morning, the dog, who is still panting in the corner, um, decided to find some fox poo and roll in it. And if you have a dog, you'll know what a joy that is. Now in a van, that can be really, really tough to deal with because where do you put them? Now, yes, you can put them in the shower, you can try and hose them off, but it's a bit of a pain. And as we've got a wet shower, we haven't got a, we've got a wet room. We haven't got a separate shower cubicle. It gets everything everywhere, especially with a dog. So what we've got is we've got well, we found, I didn't even use the shower attachment. It has got a proper shower attachment, but I didn't even bother. I just put him outside, put that outside, got a bit of water on him, rubbed the fox shampoo in that gets the smell out. And then literally just drizzled it over and you can get rid of it all then. And he wasn't even in the van with the horrible, stinky, smelly fox poo. So for us, that is an absolute godsend. Love the things. Now there are, of course, 
a million and one other things that I could have chosen. There are so many things that we've got. In the, I'm looking around now. So many things that make our life easier. And of course, I haven't even got into the big stuff. Like we've got a solar panel and an awning and our Wi-Fi unit, an inverter and a power bank. In fact, both of those probably should have made the top five in gadgets because they're not essential. But oh my goodness, I don't think we could survive without both an inverter and a power bank. And if you're not sure on the difference, I put a little short in somewhere. I'll leave that. It's like 59 seconds, but I'll explain the difference between what the two are to you. Because personally, I think you need both if you're going to be doing a lot of traveling. and certainly going to be staying off grid a lot. But those are our top five sort of fun things that aren't essential by any means, but will hopefully make your life a little bit easier. What's your favourite gadget in your motorhome or camper van? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to see what you think. If you'd like to know what the essential things are that you have to travel in your van that every motorhome and camper van should have, this is the video for you. You'll find that useful. And if you are new to motorhome and getting yourself set up, this playlist will absolutely help walk you through the basics of what you need to know as you get going. As always, safe travels. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.